Hello everyone, welcome to Elliot with Desuquest.com YouTube channel. Uh, today is March 28th and the chart of the day for today is the NASDAQ 100 and Q45 minutes time frame here. So you can see right here that uh, we ended with 4 in the minor degree at uh, 18,011 and then from there we should be in the wave 5 right now and wave 5 is currently in progress uh, possibly as a as a diagonal so we have ending diagonal so we have one two three and then now looking for with four before it turns higher again afterwards for on the last move up with five okay so you can see bullish sequence means we only like the bullish side right side up and there is a blue box here this is the area we think there could be buyers and support assuming it can go down of course this is the forecast doesn't necessarily mean we have to go down right we can always go up from here uh, and that's called truncation uh, the most important thing is understanding what the right side is as long as you understand the right side then um, you shouldn't trade the other side if you understand what the right side is uh, so we do not recommend selling the the line here is dotted line and you can see in the instruction here we do not trade in the direction um, of the dotted line as well okay and all right so here uh, simple guys the pullback currently if you look at the short term structure you can see it doesn't look like a an impulse right looks overlapping three swings uh, without any extension on the third leg so it doesn't look impulsive to me so you can see it's actually three swings 100% here if you see right 100% so no extension on the third leg rally go down again looking for a seven swing structure which is a WXYS double correction so assuming we can go down um, in the shorter cycle then this is the area we think we should be able to find support in the NASDAQ and from here the index can then continue higher again so we like uh, basically the long side in this case because of the bullish sequence now if we zoom out a little bit into the four hour right and let's take a look at the 4 hour now we can see if I throw a trend line from January 6 we still continue to stay above the trend line and um, this is the wave 4 you saw in the 1 hour and that's the same wave 4 and if this is the wave 4 that's your wave 3 so you can see this pullback was 3 waves corrective and you make a new high above the wave 3 so now basically we are looking for continuation higher at least one more leg to finish with 5 here right and again this structure here so far is also overlapping and corrective so there is no point or no reason at all to suggest oh, okay we're gonna get a big pullback or any kind of thing that basically is trying to pick the top right so we continue to favor on uh, the long side and um, corrective here corrective here so that's your next uh, support zone for the NASDAQ 18 327 to 18 alright so that's the update for today and as always uh, if you want to get more regular updates on the NASDAQ uh, in the shorter cycle or in the long term and uh, uh, the higher time frame or any other stock ETF um, indices forex commodities you can always check our service we have 14 days trial the link is in the description of the video we also have a spring sale right now so you can check it out if you want to join this is um, one of the best time to join right now so i'll see you all again next time and have a nice day everyone